today we will talk about the very important genome editing tool that is CRISPR system. Okay, so first I will start with giving you the overview about what are CRISPR system. Then we will enter into the mechanism part. So let's begin. So first of all, what are CRISPR-Cas systems? What are CRISPR-Cas systems? So what are CRISPR-Cas systems? So they are very diverse adaptive microbial immune system. Okay, so they are adaptive microbial immune system. And this immune system, it is used by most archaea. Okay, it is used by which organism? Mainly used by archaea bacteria. But that is 90% of this system is used by archaea bacteria. <coughs> and around 40% U bacteria. 40% is used by U bacteria. And what is the purpose? Why do they use it? To protect themselves from invading viruses. Okay. To protect from invading viruses and plasmids. Okay. So this mechanism is by archaea and eubacteria to protect themselves from viruses. Okay. And this CRISPR-Cas system, it allows the cell to recognize or to distinguish any foreign DNA from self-DNA. Okay, foreign DNA is recognized from the self-DNA. And this CRISPR system which is there, this CRISPR system, this CRISPR system, it has two parts. CRISPR-Cas system, CRISPR-Cas system has two parts. It has two parts. What are the two parts? The one is the CRISPR part and another is CAS part. So what are CRISPR? What is the term CRISPR meant for? The full form is clustered, regularly, interspaced, short palindromic repeats. Okay. Clustered, regularly spaced, regularly spaced interspaced clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic sequences okay palindromic sequences okay and what are uh, not sequences i'm sorry palindromic repeats palindromic repeats so this is the full form of crispr then what is the meaning of cas cas is crispr associated crispr associated as is for associated so they are crispr associated proteins known as cas proteins okay so crispr what it consists of it consists of highly conserved Okay, CRISPR consists of, what are CRISPR sequences? So CRISPR sequences, they are highly conserved. Short repeats, okay, short repeated sequences, short repeated sequences, which are separated by similarly sized short spacer sequences, okay. So they are highly conserved short repeated sequences which are which are separated okay separated by short repeat sequences separated by similarly sized similar sized short spacer sequences i will show you the picture also okay and the size of this crispr repeats so better i draw then i'll explain you so 
so if this I draw it as a region and this if I draw it as if this is CAS gene if these are CAS gene okay if these are CAS genes these are CAS genes and after CAS gene it's the leader sequence after CAS gene it's the leader sequence okay this is the leader sequence after the <coughs> after leader sequence it is the CRISPR repeat okay CRISPR repeat and between every CRISPR repeat, okay, between the CRISPR repeats, there is the spacer region. Between the CRISPR repeat is the spacer region. This is the spacer region. This is the spacer region. Okay. This is the spacer region. So I label it. This are Cas9, Cas genes. Okay. This is leader. This are the green ones are CRISPR repeat with spacer. CRISPR plus spacer. CRISPR, repeat, spacer, array. Okay, this is the spacer. This is leader. This is spacer. Okay, and this is double stranded DNA. Clear? And this is the CRISPR repeat. This is CRISPR repeat. This is CRISPR repeat which has the palindromic sequence. Say for example, say for example, G, T, T, G, T, A, C, and here also say for example it is G T A C A something it is going this way it is going this way okay so here also there are the sequences so this is the CRISPR repeat so this is the locus organization where CRISPR loci so this is the locus organization In the locus organization, the CRISPR loci, which you can see here, this one, the CRISPR loci, this consists of around 23 to 47 base pair. So CRISPR loci consists of how much? 23 to 47 base pair. And it is palindromic. As I have shown, it is palindromic repeat sequences. Okay, it is palindromic repeat sequences and this is separated by spacer region. Okay, spacer is how much, how many nucleotides? 21 to 72 base pair. Okay, spacer is 21 to 72 base pair and spacers have no common features. Means one spacer 1 is not similar to spacer 2. And spacer 2 is not similar to spacer 3. Okay. So spacer have no common features. Okay. Spacer have no common feature. Okay. All spacers are different from each other. They have no common feature in their sequences. 
okay they have no common feature in their sequences and the cas genes are located close to the crispr end close to the crispr okay the cas genes are located close to crispr they are located close to crispr cas genes are located close to crispr crispr loci and the number of crispr loci okay number of crispr loci present in an organism their sequence and the type of cas gene vary among species okay so number of crispr okay number of crispr loci or their sequences or the type of cas differs in species understood so this is about the locus organization now let's continue with the overview part so what we understood that this is the mechanism which archaea and eu bacteria have to protect themselves from the foreign dna and uh, this crispr loci they are very diverse okay crispr loci if i give light on crispr loci this crispr loci are hyper variable means they are very different from different species they are hyper variable they are diverse okay they have hyper variable and diverse spacer sequences okay even in closely related species even in closely related species okay and uh, closely related species or closely related strains so the spacer regions the spacer regions in crispr loci the spacer regions they are unique in nature they have unique sequences and the spacer regions they have originated from the viral or plasmid dna the spacer region they have originated from viral or plasmid dna so these spacer regions these spacer regions these spacer regions they are the recognition elements very important these spacer regions are recognition elements for invading viral or plasmid dna for invading viral or plasmid dna so they are the recognition elements for the viral and plasmid dna so uh, so what happens by adding new spacers in their own genome okay that what bacteria do they add spacer region in their own genome okay so bacteria when they add spacer region in their own genome they are able to recognize new matching viral or plasmid genome okay so what do this bacteria or archaea do what do they do bacteria can recognize the spacer element the spacers in their own genome okay they can recognize the spacer in their own genome by adding new spacer okay so uh, they are able to recognize the spacer in their genome by adding new spacers okay so by adding new spacers they are able to recognize the spacers in their own genome later on this recognition will help in matching in recognizing new matching recognizing new matching viral or plasmid genome means what they will do uh, from the viral or the plasmid dna they will take a region and they will add it in their crispr sequence in their crispr loci so it will help the uh, bacteria to recognize whether which viral dna it has come across this time okay 
So this is one feature of the spacer region. Another feature associated with CRISPR loci is the presence of a conserved sequence called leader. So let's discuss about the leader sequence. So leader sequence is also conserved. Okay. And where it is located? It is located upstream. It is located upstream of CRISPR. Okay, so if CRISPR direction, if I go back, if CRISPR direction is this way, if CRISPR direction, if I say is this way, okay, if it is this way, then what you will find that the upstream is the leader sequence. Then, then what we need to know about leader sequence, this CRISPR activity will require the presence Okay, leader sequence, this much is sufficient. We'll, when we'll go to mechanism, we'll understand. Then about Cas9 proteins or Cas genes. So this Cas genes, they are found adjacent to the CRISPR. Okay, they are found adjacent to CRISPR. They are found adjacent to CRISPR. And uh, they are usually found adjacent to the CRISPR and code for Cas proteins. So Cas genes will form what? It will form Cas proteins. And what is Cas proteins useful for? It is useful for immune response. And this Cas proteins have variety of functions. Variety of functions. What are the variety of functions Cas genes will perform or the Cas proteins will perform? That is they perform function of nucleases. Helicases, polymerases, okay, and the CRISPR immune system it works through the cooperation of diverse Cas proteins. So they are diverse. There are diverse Cas proteins, and CRISPR proteins work along with the cooperation of diverse Cas proteins. So uh, here, CRISPR Cas proteins is currently grouped into two classes. Okay, CRISPR Cas proteins, the CRISPR Cas system, CRISPR Cas system, it is currently grouped into two classes. Six types and over 30 subtypes. So very important thing I would like to uh, discuss, which you all know, I, I am sure that you all know. So two scientists named Emmanuel, Charpentier and another one is Jennifer Dodna. They were awarded the Nobel Prize. They were awarded Nobel Prize in chemistry remember that they awarded no they were awarded nobel prize in chemistry in the year 2020 for discovering this crispr cas9 system for discovering crispr cas9 system a method for genome editing Okay, so this was the overview about the CRISPR-Cas system. In the next video, we will discuss about the general mechanism of CRISPR-Cas system.